to import our proposed civil 3D surfaces, all we need to do is go to the Data Sources drop-down and select Autodesk Civil 3D DWG. Here we can navigate to our Civil 3D file stored on BIM360 and refine what objects we'd like to import. In this case we just want the proposed car park and surrounding landscaping surfaces. Once the surfaces have been imported, you'll notice that they are listed beneath the terrain category. Like all imported data sources in InfraWorks, we will need to configure their insertion prior to the files appearing in the 3D model. As we're using Civil 3D surfaces, these will have been created geospatially in the correct place, therefore we need only to ensure the right coordinate system is selected. Surfaces are imported as uncategorised, so we will need to move them to the ground surface area and toggle the light bulb on. It is important to note that the hierarchy that the surfaces are displayed is crucial to how the surfaces will triangulate, thus the higher the surface is in the list, the more of a precedent it takes. Let's now repeat the process for the other surface. Now we have both of our Civil 3D surfaces imported, we are going to add a final file which is a model containing 3D solids representing the car park curves, created by extracting the solids from Civil 3D corridors. For this import we shall use the AutoCAD DWG 3D object option. Like all files we shall need to configure the data. As the model is geographically located, we simply need to select the correct coordinate system just like the Civil 3D surfaces. Now the curb model has been imported, we can more easily differentiate between the data boundaries. Although the curb model has helped, it isn't 100% clear what is proposed and what is existing, as InfraWorks reads the data as a single terrain model, resulting in us not being able to change the material or aesthetics of our imported Civil 3D surfaces. I'm now going to show you a tool in which to help you identify zones and terrain materials using coverage areas inside of InfraWorks. We shall start by returning to our Civil 3D model. For both surfaces, we need to ensure we have extracted the boundary or extent as a closed two-dimensional polyline. From these polylines, we are going to export two shapefiles, one for each surface, which shall act as a boundary inside of InfraWorks. Inside the export dialog box, we must ensure the treat closed polylines as polygons option has been ticked. Back inside of InfraWorks, we can import our shapefiles via the data sources dropdown. At the import dialog box, we must ensure the coverage areas category has been selected. From here, we can select our material or colour we want our coverage area to display. Now we can see our landscaping surface has been highlighted as a grass material. We can now overlay another coverage area for the car park extents, showing the suitable road surfacing. We can now see our surfaces are clearly prominent inside of InfraWorks, ready for further models and detailed features to be applied. Depending on our required output, we can switch off the satellite imagery giving us a more simplistic aesthetic to our model. And there you have it, two Civil 3D surfaces and a 3D AutoCAD model successfully integrated into our InfraWorks environment.